The Tunguska event is one of the most mysterious and scientifically intriguing natural explosions ever recorded. Here's a more detailed look at the event, including its geological, environmental, and cultural impacts, as well as ongoing scientific research. Timeline of Events June 30, 1908 At approximately 7.17 a.m. local time, a bright fireball appeared in the sky over the remote area near the Podkamanaya Tunguska River in Siberia. Observers up to 500 miles away reported seeing a blinding flash of light, explosion, and shockwave. The fireball exploded mid-air, generating a massive shockwave that flattened 80 million trees in a radial pattern over an area of about 830 square miles, or 2,150 square kilometers. Aftermath For days afterward, skies as far away as Europe and parts of Asia reportedly had an unusual brightness due to atmospheric particles from the explosion. Environmental Effects Airburst Dynamics Scientists estimate that the object, likely an asteroid or comet, exploded at an altitude of 5 to 10 kilometers, or 3 to 6 miles, above the Earth's surface, releasing approximately 15 megatons of energy. This energy release caused the massive tree flattening but left no impact crater. Temperature and Atmospheric Changes The Tunguska event released dust and particles high into the atmosphere, which caused a measurable temperature drop around the globe. This phenomenon, known as a volcanic winter effect, was similar to what might happen after a nuclear explosion or a volcanic eruption. The dust cloud that spread across Europe caused bright nights for weeks and disrupted climate patterns. Geological Impact Although the Tunguska event did not create a typical impact crater, it altered the landscape significantly. Soil and vegetation samples taken from the area decades later showed signs of intense thermal damage and possible radiation exposure. Some researchers speculate that the explosion created a near-surface thermal blast zone, leaving an imprint in the soil that still affects tree growth in the region today. Theories and Hypotheses Most scientists agree that the explosion was caused by a stony asteroid about 50 to 60 meters in diameter entering Earth's atmosphere. Moving at about 30,000 kilometers per hour, the asteroid experienced rapid heating and intense atmospheric pressure, causing it to explode before reaching the ground. This theory is supported by data from similar though much smaller events, such as the 2013 Chelyabinsk meteor, which exploded over Russia with a force equivalent to 500 kilotons of TNT. Some scientists argue that the object could have been a comet, which is made mostly of ice and volatile gases. This would explain the lack of any substantial meteorite fragments or impact crater. A comet would have vaporized almost entirely in the atmosphere, leaving behind only gas and small amounts of dust. Comet theory supporters point to unusual atmospheric effects and magnetic anomalies following the event, suggesting a high level of volatile materials in the explosion. Now, there are also some unconventional theories. Early on, a few scientists speculated that a microscopic black hole passing through the Earth could have caused the explosion. This idea was largely dismissed due to the lack of evidence for such an event and the improbability of a black hole passing through the planet without further global damage. Another now discredited theory proposed that the explosion was caused by antimatter colliding with regular matter. However, no evidence has ever been found to suggest antimatter played a role. Research Expeditions and Findings Nearly 20 years after the explosion, Russian mineralogist Leonid Kulik led the first scientific expedition to the area. Kulik found vast swaths of flattened trees arranged in a radial pattern, all pointing away from a central area, which suggested an airburst rather than a ground impact. However, he found no impact crater, which puzzled researchers and added to the mystery. Since then, Researchers have returned to Tunguska to examine soil samples, tree rings, and geomagnetic anomalies. Some trees in the area show unusually high levels of carbon isotopes, which may indicate exposure to intense heat or shock waves, with improved satellite technology and data from more recent meteor airbursts. Scientists have developed sophisticated computer models simulating the Tunguska explosion. These models support the airburst hypothesis and show that such explosions could happen in other parts of the world with catastrophic results. Legacy and Cultural Impact 
The Tunguska event has inspired efforts worldwide to monitor and protect Earth from similar impacts. Organizations like NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office actively track near-Earth objects to provide advance warnings. The Tunguska event has also sparked a great deal of interest in popular culture, with books, movies, and conspiracy theories imagining the explosion as the result of alien spacecraft, secret weapons testing, or even supernatural events. Tunguska remains a central case study for understanding high-altitude explosions and the potential risks posed by near-Earth objects. It is a primary example of how a medium-sized object can cause immense damage without ever hitting the ground, and it has underscored the need for global awareness of asteroid impacts. The Tunguska event, though unique in scale, is not entirely unprecedented. Smaller but similar events, such as the Chelyabinsk meteor in 2013 and the meteor crater impact in Arizona about 50,000 years ago, give us insights into how often Earth is struck by sizable objects and what might happen if a larger one approaches. If a Tunguska-sized event were to occur over a populated area today, the devastation would be enormous, potentially leading to millions of casualties and widespread urban destruction. The event serves as a reminder of Earth's vulnerability to cosmic events and the potential for catastrophic natural explosions. Through continued research and monitoring, Scientists hope to prevent or mitigate the impact of future Tunguska-like events.